This is gonna be messy. Hey, AJ. Do you wanna go inside Five Below and buy every single slime, putty, and foam that we can find? Yes. Let's go. You and I till the end. Don't be to pretend again and again. We'll stick together. When AJ and I got to Five Below, we went straight to the back where the slime and the fidgets were, and they were right where I thought they were gonna be. What I didn't think though was that each type of slime would have so many varieties. And we quickly made the decision that we were literally going to buy every single variety in every single type of slime, which resulted in a lot of slime. I mean, look at this shopping cart. It got full so quick. Even AJ was shocked. Everywhere we turned, there was a type of slime that I have never even seen before. Like these sand slimes. I didn't even know that was a thing, but obviously, I had to grab them and throw them in the cart. And just when I thought I was safe, we went over to the craft section and found so much more. I didn't even realize that Play-Doh made a whole collection of cloud slimes. So we added them to the cart. We went up to the register and we started to check out. Do you guys want to guess how much AJ and I spent on slime today? Let us know down in the comments. I'm about to share in the very next clip. So we just spent almost $350 on slime and I'm pretty confident that we did find every single type of slime in every single color. These are every single slime in every single color at five below. I think the easiest way to do this is to mix it in small batches and then we're going to mix it all together into one big gigantic. I think the way to make this the most fair so not one slime is taking over another is to use the same amount. So why don't you open a tablespoon and we'll do a tablespoon of each slime and hopefully that'll give us a good like mix of what's in this bunch. So I got this idea from Safia Nagar. She is one of my favorite YouTubers and she has done this with a whole bunch of different products, but I personally have never seen it done with slime. So I'm gonna count this real quick to see how many slimes we're mixing together. I believe there are 83 slimes here and that even doesn't count like these that have multiple slimes inside. It's just 83 containers of slime, foam, flarp, and anything that basically said slime on the package, I counted. So I think I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer and let's start by mixing all of the Nickelodeon slimes. <laughs> I think that'll be really fun. Let me know what color you think this slime is going to be at the end and what texture do you think this slime is going to be? So the only way I can think to do this is to just do it quickly so this video isn't 20 minutes long. These Nickelodeon slimes were really, really nice. I did not love the packaging, but I loved the add-ins. As you can see, I was using my ladle to make sure that I had approximately the same of every single slime. This mint chocolate chip smelled so good. These all had slightly different textures. They were not very sticky. There were some that were clear, some that were a little cloudy, but my favorite was probably the last one that we did, which was like a dragon fruit. This is the last of the Nickelodeon slimes. This one is a trio, and I think we're gonna have to use every single piece of this to make sure that it fits about how much we're using. So we'll put all of these in there and then we will mix together the first conco concoction. <laughs> concoction. I think it's contraction. Contraction. Oh my gosh. So starting to make this really pretty like swirl, but let's see how well we can mix it together. There's lots of little mix-ins with this. Oh my gosh, it's kind of sticky, but look, it looks like tie-dye. This is such a mess. All mixed together, the Nickelodeon slime is purple, it really doesn't have a scent now. It smells gluey. So let's mix the next type of slime. I think for this one, we're gonna keep it easy and we're just gonna mix all of the flarps. I think based on these sizes, we might have to use the entire thing. It smells very chemically. And yeah, that's like perfect. So we're gonna mix each and every one of these flarps. You wanna hear the funniest thing about flarp? Yeah. 
sounds like a fart. All right, AJ, mix in the last color. Mix in that pink. Here we go. Now I'm gonna mix this all together. This one is very hard to mix. This is like not mixing at all. Oh my gosh. Why don't you go mix this up over there and I'll start on the next like category. And you said you wanted it to be like the sweet ones. So we've got like three of these. They look to be about the same size. So I think these two are also going to be the entire thing. Unfortunately, every single time I try to film, somebody is mowing their lawn. Here is a really, really pretty yellow and look at all those mix-ins on the bottom. I'm excited to see all these mix-ins in the slime. This one is an orange scented. This one has some weird foam beads in it. Oh, okay. And this is the last one. This one is ice cream dream. Okay, mix this together and we'll smell it. Oh gosh, it's so well. All of the add-ins are just falling out. This one is not very satisfying. This is probably my least favorite that we've done so far. The color is very pretty. It's not smelling like anything, but it's not mixing very well. So this one is done. Look what the Nickelodeon one looks like right now. I just really wanna these slimes individually were so cool. Their mix-ins were so unique. Like that first one was like eggs. How adorable is that? We also got some foam beads to mix in. And then the third one was two different colors mixed together. So I wanted to mix them before I mixed them into the big one. But look at this glitter on this silver one, gore. Yes, these didn't have too much of a scent, but that was really fun to mix together. I found that the bowl was getting too difficult, so I started kneading it on the counter, almost like bread, and it worked out a lot better. And then I found out that I left out some of the sweet treats, so I had to mix that back in to the last batch, and it made it so ugly. Trial and error today, guys. Welcome to the part where I discovered my new favorite slime. These were those Play-Doh cloud slimes that I almost missed, but thank goodness I grabbed them because they ended up being some of the most like creamy, amazing textures. The only thing I didn't love is they were a little bit oily at first. So you can see that I am mixing them together before I plop them in. And then it was time to give it a big mixer -oo. As you could see, AJ wanted his own little portion of this slime. That's how good it was. And then I mixed in the Play-Doh foam beads. So I thought this was gonna be a very similar texture, but it was so, so sticky. So I did not like the foam beads as much, and I was worried that it was gonna ruin this amazing batch. And let me tell you, it did. It did ruin it. I hated the way this looked. I hated the way this felt. I hated everything about this once I added the foam beads. It was nasty. At this point, I feel like it's getting very repetitive. I'm literally just mixing all of these in. Almost every single package is super difficult to open. There's a lot of really interesting mix-ins in this category though, because they were almost like foam square blocks. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it was definitely really interesting. And then this one, again, got really ugly. None of these slimes really wanted to be mixed together. But we are going to speed through these next couple of rounds because like I said, it is getting very repetitive and I was spiraling into slime craziness at this point. I'm mixing all the slimes. Yes. I blow. But I think, I think this has potential to be a really good video. Wow, this one's actually nice. I'm slowly starting to lose my mind. I'm gonna have to do all of the name brand sweets. So like Dippin' Dots, the Icy, the Mike and Ikes. And I think, honestly, some of the Mike and Ikes might be duplicates. Here they are. It smells overwhelming. Let's see if we can mix this together. We're gonna finish mixing it when we mix it all together. Let's get these big ones out of the way. Anything in a tub, we're just gonna put all of them together. And I think I'm gonna use one of these tubs because I'm running out of bowls. Gorgina. This one looks like it has Orbeez inside. Yep, they're Orbeez. Oh, they're slimy Orbeez. Oh, 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 no, oh. The Orbeez do not wanna stay inside the slime. All right. Not bad, I like it. 
We're gonna stick it in here and put it with the rest. This one is really light. It's supposed to be bouncing putty. Does it bounce? Whoa, yep, it definitely bounces. These I feel like will mix it super easily. It's actually turning into kind of a pretty gray blue denim -y color. Let's start to mix together some of this kinetic sand. I've got a couple of these. I wouldn't have gotten these except for they said slimy sand. So I definitely need to include it. Oh, we forgot the purple. Why did you guys tell me I forgot to put the purple in? Oh my gosh, guys. This is what happens when you've been mixing slime for an hour. I don't know about this stuff, guys. It doesn't feel slimy. But I'm not a fan. This is the weirdest texture. It's definitely like sand, but it's like stretchy sand. Don't like this stuff, but we're gonna add it to one of the bowls and we're going to finish up with the last few slimes. We've got our ASMR slimes. I've got some foam pals. I've got some more foam. I've got whatever this is and whatever this is. And then that's it. Since I am all out of bowls, we are just going to mix the rest of these together. And then it'll be time to finally mix every single slime from five below into our big gigantic bin. This one needs to be mixed before it can even go in. Or should we just... <laughs> it's not mixing, guys. These do not want to mix at all. It feels like a big booger. All right, we'll, we'll come back to this situation. Let me clean up my mess and then show you all the bowls of slime that I've made. Here are all the slimes all mixed together-ish and we're gonna put these in this bucket here. It's gonna be pretty easy. We're just gonna flop it in. This one is not mixed very well. This is three different ones. Feel it out. Oh, this one's heavy. This one's really heavy. And then the final one, oh, my shoulders hurt, is in. So now I'm going to just uh, attempt to mix this together. All right, guys, this is what you get when you mix together over 80 slimes from Five Below. It is very heavy, it is very, very sticky, and it's very disgusting looking. I don't know what I expected when I started this challenge, but this was not it. It is much grosser, and a lot of it didn't want to incorporate. All of these different slime textures and mix-ins we're not having it. They did not want to play together. So this is what we got. If you do like a small piece, it's not so bad. It's definitely like a gluey texture, but it is getting stuck all over me. <sighs> should I do this experiment again? And if so, where should I get my slime next? Or whose slime should I order to mix all together? If you guys liked this video, I'd like it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I definitely need to go wash my hands. Bye guys. You and I till the end.